Gentlemen, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Corps. For today's video, we are going to be talking about the use of dating apps. For men out there who are using dating apps, this is a video for you. Tips, my experience, tricks, and all things to know about dating apps. So if you are new here, the Main Corps is a community that is built specifically for men that are digging to their core to find out who it is that they really are what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. Subscribe to the channel today. Click the bell to be notified for future videos. We cover three topics, masculinity, health, and relationships. So again, as I mentioned, the uh, video for today is going to be around the use of dating apps. And I'm sure that uh, you know many of you out there have either tried it, uh, using them, um, have thought about using them, are preparing to use them, are sick of using them. I'm sure we're at various different stages. But what I thought I would do is uh, come to you today and share my personal spin on them. Uh, I've pretty much tried them all, Bumble, Tinder, Hinge. Uh, I've pretty much, pretty much experienced them all. And um, I, you know, I've sought out a lot of advice online, blogs, tips, tricks, you know, just everything that you can get your hands on to try and maximize my uh, profile and its view viewability. And, um, you know, I've really ran the gamut about the things out there, the resources that are out there for men, um, about how to optimize their profiles to get the most matches, to m get the most engagement. And I'm probably going to burst a lot of people's bubbles here, but my personal spin is that men should not use dating apps. Uh, I am absolutely 100% guilty of using them myself. Uh, I come to you today and, and I'm doing this video at the very conclusion, at the end of my using them. Uh, as I mentioned, I have been going through and, and using the various apps. I've tried, you know, different uh, approaches. So whether that was to uh, kind of create a bit of a narrative that I was, um, you know, well off, or that I was successful, that I was wealthy, that I was an asshole, that I was, uh, you know, in really good shape, that I had a lot of resources. I've gone about every different direction that you could possibly go, and um, I can't speak for you. And if you're having success on them, that's phenomenal. That's great. Um, I personally have not. I live in an area that's probably a little bit slimmer pickings here in Nebraska, but um, you know. I don't think that men should use them. So, you know, I have, again, I have personally used them. So, you know, this is not judgment, but uh, I wanna give you a, a frame of reference and I wanna kinda give you a different way of looking at this. So, um, I, cause I think it can be really frustrating. At least it was for me, you know, you try a lot of different things and um, you're hoping to at least connect or, or uh, get some likes, get some matches, get some engagement and, you know, Personally, I was kind of grabbing at straws just to try different things and, and to see what works. And, and ultimately, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm removing myself from, from the authentic me, which that's, that's really who they're going to get anyway. And that's, that's all that really matters. Um, but, you know, if I'm, if I'm creating a lot of different uh, personifications of myself or I'm, you know, creating different profiles and if I'm approaching this differently, um, ultimately, I'm not being true to myself, and and really, that's that's really what we need to understand here. Um, you know, it, if you were to ask, if you have girls who are 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 pretty good looking, or um, you know, if your sister is using the apps, that's maybe not um, engagement or or a profile that you want to see. But you know, if if you do know women uh, approximately your age or around your age that are actually using them, I would ask them about their experience because I guarantee you. Uh, it is in in stark contrast to your experience. Um, it, it certainly was for me. So I, I went out and talked to a couple of them, a few I work with, um, just a few when I was out and about on the bar scene. And, you know, the reality is, is that even average looking girls, they just get barraged, barraged with messages, likes, comments, follows, even, you know, you have to link these through social media. So these guys are then reaching out um, outside of the app on Facebook and on Instagram and all this other stuff. So you know, that's not, that's not my experience. So, you know, if you're kind of an average guy, just like I am an average Joe, um, which I, I would 
venture to say, you know, most of us are here. Um, we're always trying to work and, and, and become the best version of ourselves. Uh, but um, we're all pretty much kind of average Joes, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's awesome. Like, we need to accept and, and appreciate and, and validate and approve and um, know that that's enough. Uh, to not think that we have to, you know, do what I did, which was stupid, and, and you know, create all these different um, types of profiles or these different personas. It just none of it fucking works. So um, if you ask them their experience, they're getting a ton of engagement. And, you know, it, the, the odds are really in their favor. So even if the use, I, I, I think I looked at the stats over the last two or three years, um, each year for for the dating apps because there's you know there's reports and surveys and statistics that are out there that are on them you can find them on the internet yourself but if you look at it primarily you know men are are it's like 60 40 where men are using more of the apps okay so then your competition size already is 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 bigger right so we're we want to work smarter not harder right that, I mean that's the way that I am I, I don't I don't feel like I need to like prove or, or compete against the next guy. Um, that's my brother. And, you know, I would rather, and I'm going to get more value out of, you know, him and I growing to become the best version of ourselves and letting women, high quality women chase us. So I'm not really interested in be in, in competing with or validating myself, stacking myself against or competing myself against the, the brother next to me. That's really how I think about it. But, you know, the, the statistics show that, you know, it's about 60-40. So men use, men use them more often than women do. And if you take that a step further um, and add on the experience that not only the statistics show, but the, you know, the feedback and the results of the women that you ask in your personal circle or in your personal lives about their engagement, when you stack that on top of it, uh, the odds are really are not in your favor. I mean, you're you're really playing uh, against the odds, and I don't care where you go, whether it's horse racing or the casinos or wherever. You know, th if you're betting against the house, typically you're going to lose. And I don't like those odds. I, I want to, you know, my goal is to is to get places in in a successful way and the quickest way possible and the easiest way possible, and it's not happening there. So, uh, that's, you know, really layer number two, probably the biggest part is, you know, let's, let's be honest. Like if, if you look at the two different types of posts, so if a guy posts a picture about like his truck and this could be on like Facebook or social media or whatever. Um, and he's like standing next to it, even if he's like in really good shape, like if you look at, the, just compare the comments of, of something like that um, and kind of the engagement and, and some of the things that, that you see likes, comments on that particular post. And then compare that to like either a selfie or like a girl with her dog or her car and like look at all the comments on hers. So a very just common like random Tuesday afternoon post, just compare the two on any two people and and that will kind of open your eyes about um, the kind of validation that not only women are, are looking for in social media and that they get in social media but just that the guys don't they don't you know there's gonna be a few people on there that are like man sweet truck or like that's awesome um, we gotta hang soon it's gonna be like real small um, you know real um, low maintenance kind of engagement. The woman's is gonna be like, oh my God, you're so beautiful, so cute, likes, hearts, all this other crap, and it's all validation. Well, if you, you, if you walk that over to social media, or uh, to, to the dating apps, you know, women, they, they have it really good over there. Not only have I told you that their engagement is way higher than that of men, it's way more men to choose from, so they're in an abundant place. Um, but they're also getting the, the likes, the comments, the follows, and the super likes, the, the, the pay to meet me, like all the add-ons that guys probably, you know, think that they got to dig in their wallet to, to try and do. You're just, all that you're doing there is, is really throwing money at the problem. And, and I know that many of us tried to do that 
in like our own personal interactions and find out that it doesn't work. So um, don't think that it's going to, you know, do you any favors in the app scene either. They get all that validation. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. Oh my God, you know, I'd love to take you out. Like I just dote over them. And ultimately, you know, they don't, women don't respond. They just, they don't meet up. They don't respond back. They don't, um, they're, they're probably not in it for the same reason that you are. Um, you know, there's, there's probably a lot of them that are out there, uh, at least the way that it, it seemed to me, it was just all kind of like a vanity sort of uh, self-esteem rub my ego uh, approach. There's a lot of single mothers out there. So, you know, if you, because you can connect the social media platforms, um, I live in a smaller, not a, I live in the biggest city of in Nebraska, but um, you know, it's compared to like Florida or New York or California, like the pool is relatively smaller, especially if you start messing with the age preferences. And, you know, typically if, if there's somebody that comes up there, I, I'm pretty, if, if I'm savvy, I can pretty well easily find them on social media. So if I'm curious about somebody or if um, I see somebody that I, I, I would like, I would go out and, and see them on social media, right? I, I know I'm not the only one. I'm going to admit it, but um, we all do it. Um, that's, there's, there's an element of like kind of peeking behind the curtain or, or, or spying on people or, or kind of stalking them, I guess. I mean, let's, we all do it, but I'll just admit it anyway. So if you go out and find them, you'll find that the pictures that they have on their social media, uh, are different than, than the ones that you see on the app. So the app experience that you get is, you know, either she's younger, she's in better shape. Um, she looks happier. Um, on her real social media profiles, you get pictures of her kids. So like she kindly left that out on her social or on her, uh, on her dating app profile. That's, I, I don't know about you guys, but like, I'm not really in a hurry to date any single mothers, um, between the two of them, single mothers, in my opinion, that's fucking red flag. Like I don't really want to deal with that. And there's a lot of them here. Um, there's a lot of, you know, teen mothers and, uh, women that are having babies way too young out, out of marriage and a couple of different guys. And it's just, I don't want to be the next guy. So, um, I'm very, you know, I'm probably a little bit more picky or selective, but I just, I don't, between the two, I'm not going to mess around with, with single mothers if, unless she's like the dynamite package. I mean, I guess that's possible, but, um, it's just not been my experience that, that they're, that, that they're the, um, the best pick. So, but she kindly left that out on her profile. I saw that a lot. Um, you know, girls are very heavy, heavy set. There's, you know, you, you're going to get some, I'm confused. I don't know if I like girls or guys. It's just like, you know, it, it's very, it's a very rocky road to try and trudge through. And, you know, the stats are against you. If you're looking to meet somebody great, you're going to run into way more people who are either giving or women that are, are not giving you the truth. Um, they're really only in it for the validation. And overall, the biggest message here is that when I went through and, and you know, tried to test different things out and to see what worked and, and to see what didn't see if you know, this profile worked better, these pictures, this bio, like whatever the fuck. Ultimately, like that's time that I wasted now because I'm here and like, it wasn't fruitful. Like I, I can't stand here and do the video and tell you that it was a good use of my time. Um, I, you know, I, I basically, it, it was a failure of mine to think that I could also, you know, create different personifications and that I could actually make these things work for me. So I was foolish in thinking that, that I could kind of work the system. I was wrong. Um, and I want to help you guys out by letting you know that the real, the real win here is to use that time, to use that energy, to focus on yourself. So if that means that you're going to get in better shape, if that means you're going to start a business, take better care of your business, 
if that means that you are going to eat better, if that means that you are going to start meditating, doing yoga, getting out of the house, exercising more, reading more, um, seeing, a, seeing a therapist more, um, investing uh, actual financial dollars, um, you know, just putting that time and energy back in yourself because that's ultimately all that really matters is, you know, when you're spending that time and you're investing in you, you're becoming a high qual higher quality man. You're going to become busy and, you know, you're going to be focused on the things that are going to be improving your life. And just naturally as a side effect, I've even said it in these videos. So, um, you know, I ignored my own advice. And again, that was my failure. But, um, you know, ultimately what we're doing is we're investing in ourselves and we're, we're becoming a higher value male, uh, a more attractive male. And by virtue of doing all those things and investing in ourselves and really spending the time to um, grow spiritually, physically, mentally, um, and stretch as men. As a natural and as a very nice side effect, the high quality women that we are naturally attracted to when we are doing those things um, is really the natural state, state. And that is that, you know, their high quality women are attracted to high quality men and that's really our goal here. So, um, you know, again, I, I'm doing the videos, but I'm just as much of a student as you guys are. And, you know, I failed. And um, I thought that I could work the system and it blew up in my face. But let me save you the time and energy and channel that into who you are as a man, where you're going in life, um, improving your health, your mental health, your physical health. Um, and doing all the things that you can do to improve your circumstances. Um, the right people, the right circumstances, the right jobs, the right opportunities, the right women, they will show up and they will seek you out. They will chase you down um, because you are you're investing heavily into yourself. So um, for what it's worth and uh, if it can help save you some time, please uh, consider or reconsider your use of, of dating apps um, and don't be the uh, the fool like like I was so alrighty fellas I have to run but um, it's been great to uh, to connect thank you for watching the video please do like the the video share the video and do share the channel with uh, anybody that you think would value greatly from our content we are building community here so again I do appreciate you being with me I will uh, see you shortly on the next video here at the Vancouver cheers